biggest scum at large. With all the bigger troubles going on here, we can't spare the men to organize hunts. But feel free to give these crooks chase if you want. Splendid! You've certainly earned this gold. Bring me more of these crooks trinkets and the money will keep flowing. Any luck tracking? Splendid! Bring me more! Any luck? Splendid! Bring me more! The fjords may be dangerous enough, but I'm glad I'm not in Alaroth right now. I hear you. <laughs> the streets are awash with ghostly monstrosities, they say. I just hope the champions of the garrison will manage to hold the city. What do you want of the harbors, Smith Slayer? Maybe I could make silver swords. Nah. Why would that help against spirit? He certainly is that. <laughs> Especially with them goblins running amok. But Alaroth, now there's something I can't aid the champions with. Can plain steel kill a ghost? How do you kill something that is already dead, eh? You ask yourself that, Slayer. Is that so? Well, go ahead and have a look. Another one to add to the collection. I'm sorry, Slayer. Only champions may enter the proper form. Many marvels are for our sacred order's eyes alone. Hey there, listen. If you see a goblin, kill I'm it, tired. yeah? Save I'm the just... champions ah, a lot of time. Dragon trouble. Slayer, you're welcome to have a beer with us if you want. Good day to you, stranger. I'm Morgan, the harbor master. Anything I can do for you? Dar, where is the time I was still known as Jack? Quicksable, scourge of the western seas. He fishes, drinks, gambles, and gets bored out of his mind. Didn't used to be like that, but with the goblins running amok, it's downright suicidal to set sail. Oh, it's an old building and its glory days are over. Ships would lay anchor here by the dozen back in the day. But no more. Zeppelins, those are the future, but I'll always prefer sea to airships. The smell of the salt, the ever-changing curve of the waters. Anyway, there's but one thing you need to know about this place. It's champion territory. You want something, talk to the officers. Have a nice day. Another one to add to the collection. Hail, Traveller. I wish the circumstances were so that the champions of this fortress could offer you a heartier welcome. My worth to the champions shall be as great as my ambition, the death of Svadilfari. The sounds of goblin war drums have of late kept many a soldier uneasy night and day. That evil-minded little vermin has even had the guts to attack the fortress and the harbor here. All because their leader, Svadilfari, has found it necessary to pledge the destruction of all that is human in the Orobas Fjords. Indeed so. 
The goblins have always been warlike, but knew better than to challenge us. Until Svadilfari got them all riled up, that is. The price on his head is no less than an entire coffer full of gold. The biggest bounty ever to be issued by the champions. I'll be thankful if you do. You'll have to fight the entire village to get to him, though. Still, I do hope you'll succeed. He's a powerful goblin shaman and chieftain of the Red Hammer clan. A leader so devious and cunning always poses a big threat. But normally, goblins... This is the exact reason we never had more than skirmishes with them before. But that changed quite abruptly. They built catapults, able to take down our zeppelins. Weapons we never knew they were capable of constructing. That's why we were caught off guard when their attack came. A disastrous hour for the champions, if ever there was one. I am, yes. Of the harbour, at least. I'm in charge of the squadrons that guard the fjords, be they zeppelin-based or on foot. We protect travellers and merchants as they head for Broken Valley or fly to Rivertown. There used to be a relatively cushy line of work, out of the city and in the beautiful wild. But lately I feel I've aged more in a month than in five years. Goblins, trolls, wyverns. It's like they're all under the influence of a greater force. I'll be damned if I know what is really going on. Good hunting, wanderer. Deals outside of Alaroth, Slayer. Come, have a look at what I sell. I just can't get rid of that damned smell of fish. Oh, ain't that the truth? And a sad truth it is. But I shouldn't complain. At least I'm not in Alaroth, dodging ghosts and otherworldly monsters. If the champions can't nip the attack in the bud, I think the city will be lost forever. Immediately, Slayer. No idea. What with that Zandalor type around? Another and one that... to add to the collection. <laughs>
Elleroth's lucky it has a man like General Augustus at its command. So technically, Lord Deal's answer is the best. Well then, look here. A slayer traveling the roads of Rivalon alone. Good to see you. They handled the chalice like a common picture during that drunken party last week. These youngsters treat an almost holy relic with appalling disregard. That's what I always say. And what can I do for you, my noble friend? Since you bring it up yourself, uh, there is one little matter. We imprisoned a slayer after Kenneth disappeared. A real wild one. Yesterday he snapped and killed a fellow slayer. He'll be shipped to Rivertown. But I want justice now. I want Saul dead. All right, all right. Just hush, okay? They'll deal with him in the academy then. Unless he has an accident. Yes, sir! The Camp of Dragon Slayers. How really Well then, look here. A slayer tra- They handle these youngsters. That's what I always say. And what can I do for you, my new- Since you bring it up- We imprisoned a slayer. You'll be shipped to Rivertown. But I want- I think I can, uh, accommodate you. Make this Saul's last hour. And I'll give you a bag of gold so heavy it's guaranteed to give you a hernia. That was the greatest moment of glory for the dragon slayers here in the fjords that bear his name. The zeppelins soared high and bombarded vile Oribus's mountain retreat for an hour before charging in. The betrayer managed to seal himself in, but that couldn't dampen the victorious slayer's spirits. Lord Arban found the chalice of the dragon among the ruins, placed it here to remember the conquest. It's just a humble training encampment. Now used to teach the few local recruits we still have the tricks of the trade. The weirdest thing happened here, though, just a little while ago. We were doing exercises when Kenneth, our, our sword instructor, was swept away by a column of light. I don't know what foul magic was behind that, but I sure hope he's okay. Yes, sir. The Camp of Dragon Slayers. How revolting. I love the smell of burning goblin in the morning. It's the scent of an honor to lay a triumph it's is what it is. It's an honor to meet you. Hello, name's Montague. Pleasure. Must find the time to get that druid knight a lock soon. Well, behind the door lies a teleporter that leads up to our prison cell. We'll use it to hold criminals apprehended in the fjords until they can be shipped to uh, Alaroth, Rivertown, or wherever they need to go to face justice. Well, there have been the skirmishes with the goblins, of course, but the most bizarre thing to occur was the disappearance of our weapons trainer, Kenneth. His friend Saul was supposed to take over his command, but then it turned out the pest murdered another slayer. Luckily, Tillian exposed the crime, and ever since then, he's been the boss around here. Oh, he's off limits. Nobody sees him until the Rivertown Zeppelin arrives. You. You. You wouldn't. How did you. Who. Oh, bloody hell. Why, certainly. Come, my friend. Uh, of course you may see Saul. Yeah? Waiter.
What? What? I can't believe they'd actually think it was Tillian who was speaking the truth. How dumb are they? Lies! The man was trapped and killed by a goblin raiding party. Tillian and I killed most of them and imprisoned the others. But then he accused me of murdering the other slayer because he supposedly insulted me and said I used the goblin raid to cover my tracks. I'm innocent. But they all believe that smooth-talking bastard. You can say that again. I'm scheduled for execution. Please get me out of here. There are some goblin prisoners in there, Slayer. Looks They're like I'm not getting later. in. Smelly little buggers, aren't they? And I get to guard them. Lovely. Hail, Slayer. Yes, sir. Hail, Slayer. Our relic? Why do you want it? But I must. We can't just... Give the chalice away. Lord Arvind's sword. You have it. Really? Oh, but of course. Here is the key to the chest on the altar. His actual sword. This blade shall receive a place of honor and worship. Yes, sir. Hail, Slayer. Yes, sir. <laughs> What? Why? You would free me. That's wonderful. But I can't just walk through the Slayer base. You'll have to realign the teleporter to High Hall. This teleporter has... Welcome here, so get going. Blasted Wyvern stole my key. Must be in a nearby nest. <laughs> Hold on, you know where I hide now, which is something the champions would really like to know. Man, kill the intruder! <laughs> Go get him, boy! Not 
Not yet. I cannot take my dragon form here. Yucky, yucky human, go away! Alric, king of imps, not yucky, yucky you! Yeah. <laughs> my pet. Another one to add.
The collection. Another one to add to the collection. This teleporter has never worked. I cannot take my dragon form here.
Apocalypse Incarnate. Rise, my pet! Stop! Don't spout your fire breath in here. We do not want to fight you. Our master, Svadilfari, may the totems protect him, wants to talk to the Red Hammer's Scourge. Now I go. You'll not burn me, will you? Day for Groth the storyteller. The name of Groth shall be famous and goblins respect it as writers. I need one of your species to help me fulfill an old wish of mine. Did you know goblins tell their tales from generation to generation but never write them down? I want to change that. Not much longer will we dwell here, and I want our legacy to be preserved. I speak to you in your own tongue, but to make my dream reality, I need a human who can read, write, and speak our language. Find me such a specimen, and I will give you an ancient book found by this storyteller who came before me. And I yes. I recite our tales, so that my clan may learn its proud history. It constitutes their only education, but it is the only learning they need. I have no arms, human. Besides, I want our tales to be written down not only in the Goblin Tongue, but also in common Rivalonian. We have a beautiful and intricate script with which we can write all we desire in the minutest of detail. But our tradition says only the inside walls of tombs may be adorned with text. There we describe the lives of the dead, so they may be found worthy by the gods to have a place among the great totems. That is what makes our alphabet holy, as dictated by the shamans. But I want to give it a use in life, as well as in death. Totems, protect you. Have you found a human who speaks Totem? Yes, winged firewielder? Can I do something for you? When the day comes, I'll skin all humans I can get my hands on and make a beautiful tent out of their hides. <laughs> we form the Red Hammer tribe, proud clan under the totem of Spadilfari. Humbly did our clan begin, but we will end as masters of the fjord. Our leader has told us all, when Damien walks Rivalon openly again, Svadilfari will be crowned Goblin King, and we will rule the humans who once oppressed us. Of course.
shiny. Here comes the flying devil that burned my clan to cinders. Waste no time on words, had I not need of your powers. When the time comes, I'll have that dragon armor remodeled so I can wear it in combat. Of a human, nothing. Of a dragon, on the other hand, you turn against my kin as if it were a law of nature to oppose us. Be that as it may, I think the law of economics may persuade you to resist the tides of instinct. I offer the spoils of war, chest plates filled with enchanted crystals, weapons fit to slay demons out of hell, and all I ask in return is the head of that annoying grunt or Ilias, the captain of the champions who steers his men from within the harbor. Is that so? Then I'll give you this chance to reconsider! So be it. If you choose pleasure before business, I too will indulge in kindness. <laughs>
another one to add to the collection. I cannot take my dragon form here. No more, and I congratulate you for it. The fields are safe. Now save the rest of Rivalon and enter the Hall of Echoes. Don't you come picking on Gwyn now, human? Of course Gwyn can. He's a true goblin, is Gwyn? Why does it need to know? But it's dangerous. Gwyn is not welcome, though he doesn't know why. He's a goblin, after all. Groth asked for Gwyn. Praise be the totems. They have heard my prayers. I'm off! I'm off! <laughs> up and running again after sure. all. Sure. And if you see a goblin, make sure it's his last day. <laughs> So, did you find Quintus? Are the trolls taken care of? Will do. Any luck tracking down those wanted criminals? Splendid! You certainly earned this job. Bring this. More of any luck tracking Splendid! And that perhaps this comes a bit late. Now that you have hunted down the Orobas Fjord's most wanted criminals. But here, have this bow. It used to belong to Tiberius, the champion's finest archer. Lost a battle with a wyvern mother, poor man. But we still honor him, and now so can you.
Your hunt for Svadilfari fares favorably, I hope. Divine be praised, you did it! Do you realize what a victory you have procured? Heroics like these deserve heroic rewards. So let me give you your coffer full of gold. The Dragon Knight returns. I hope your search fares well. Finally, I may behold its splendor again. And now, for the most important thing, a drop of your Olympian blood. which he catches in the chalice. The blood of the dragon shall free our lord. Swa begno no don oro basa liodi halfordis hire. Hiro regenitas quedon pet hi weri wero de sininga mana mildes dono mora warsta liodim lios to on le fagnost. Magna sorabas, break the seal. So Ourobus is dead then. Such folly.
Welcome, weary traveller. Within me are hidden many rousing treasures. But before you may penetrate my inmost parts, first you must play. Seduce me by proving the strength of your memory, the length of your recollection, the potency of your mind. Hmm, wonderful. Let's begin. Just look very, very carefully. Now tell me, how many stone skulls did you see? Hmm, correct. Now, remember the chest you first saw when you entered? You plunged its depths, I'm sure you did. Tell me, what was in it? You're close, very close. My last question. In the first image I showed you, how many candles were burning? Yes, yes, come get it now. I open myself to you. You returned from the hatch. Where is Oribas, Master? Is he not with you? I... This cannot be. Our Lord is dead. No, as before the us. I shall... Shall jump off the cliff. No, wait. Oribas, our kind master, is dead, and we shall honor his memory. But fate has brought another Dragon Knight. You are our living God, and we shall worship you with fervor and zeal. Bow before your God now. Hail the Dragon forever. Not so fast, Dragon. Ye heard me right. You're no god of mine, ye monstrous beast. Ye don't scare us, dragon. Ye wouldn't be the first one we slaughter. Yeah! We're the Dragon Terror Patrol! We slay them all! And eat them! Uh, no we don't. We're dragon slayers. Used to be, anyway. Bastard sent us away because of disciplinary issues. But our thirst for dragon blood never stopped. Exactly. Hoped the old Orbas would still be breathing so I could drive my sword through his throat myself, though. And eat him. But you'll do just fine. I'll use your tongue as my personal trophy. Then I'll have your toes. Not now, you're not. See, me friend Marktham here is a skilled sorcerer. Oh, I am. He's crafted a little device to stop you turning into a dragon when you're close by. And to make sure you don't destroy it, he... <laughs> I ate it. The odds are turned against you, beast. Die, monster. Tybus! Mark them! Tobolesk! Brethar! Clet!
you re- 